Love Talk, episode two. Bear with me, we're still figuring out how to format this show. I decided the previous show was a bit too long-winded. I don't want to be talking as long as with the lock reviews, but I do want to show you a nice collection of locks. So today we are talking about gray locks. I had a few suggestions in the comments. I know people are watching this who have gray locks. Team Greylocks, you are the best team, in my opinion. Um, so yeah, let's get into the first picture. The first picture, a woman with beautiful grey locks. Um, and they look... Dang, they look so sick. Although, if I look at them now, the ends... They kind of look like faux locks, maybe? Or she just makes sure that they look super neat on the bottom. But it looks like something is wrapped around her head. Even though... I know people don't like faux locks on this channel, but I kind of don't really care. They look so great these days, so why hate on these locks? To each your own, guys. We have, this is a good set of grey locks. This looks so good. And the roots are so neat. Uh, so she ma maintains them very well, or this is maybe just after a retwist. And they are super long. Now, this guy. I know his name is Eric, Eric something, Eric Sedone or something like that. He used to be on Instagram, but then he vanished. I wanted to do a lock review on him, but um, he deleted his Instagram, I think. And he's so handsome. That's all I can say. He has a white beard. He looks super fashionable. He has long gray locks. This guy must have all the ladies. Next set of locks. I see some shells in the locks. I never know how that works. I, I have seen a lot of people with these shells in the locks, but I don't really know how you get them on there because they, they look like they're really tight. So I feel like if you would push your dreadlock through the shell, it would damage your lock, but I don't know. And also her roots look a bit more white than the rest, which I think looks so great. Oh, this is like a two-tone set of locks. If you look at the bottom of his locks, they are still brown, light brown, maybe from the sun from having them this long. And then the roots and uh, the part of the lock that comes right after that is gray, solid gray. And this is a look that is so unique because I don't think many people have this transition in their hair uh, usually if you get gray hair you don't have locks you just keep cutting your hair until you only have gray hair but in his case the bottom is still brown a lock bob is that how you call it in english as well a bob uh, i know for a while many people on youtube women especially started getting this haircut because some people get bored of their long locks and then just to get a different hairstyle they cut their hair like this and uh, they even shave the sides of their head so maybe that's the case with her I'm not really sure because we can't really see but they look cool these are dope these are dope very gray a bit curly maybe she just had a braid out another person with a beard and gray locks this is not the best quality picture but with men having locks and a beard that's the way to go that's the way to go and this set of locks is really interesting i think she has sister locks i'm pretty sure she has sister locks because they're very thin but you can see that she also has a two-tone going on with the black on the bottom and the gray growing out from the roots we also featured her in this sister locks episode that you can find right here and this is kind of a progression of uh, getting locks with gray hair because I'm sure some of you wonder if you can get locks with gray hair and what that would look like in the beginning and eventually this is a great way to show you. So in the beginning uh, you might not expect that the top left picture will eventually look like the bottom and the right picture. So when you get locks and you get them a certain shape, they will start to look way different over time. Another set of sister locks, these locks are almost silver, silverish white. And uh, yeah, they look cool. I do wonder though with sister locks if you get a lot of breakage, because I know there's a certain way to um, kind of um, interlock the lock, if I'm not mistaken. Uh, and also, for the people who have sister locks, 
Is there a point in time where you don't have to do that anymore? Where you can just let them grow and they will just keep growing? Let me know in the comments. Now this guy, this guy's a legend. We, we uh, featured him in the gray locks episode that we did last year that you can also find up here. Um, and he was in the thumbnail and I think that's why the video did well. He has, obviously he has some type of freeform, semi freeform thing going on. But again, because of his style and his glasses and his modern look, he makes these locks look even better. He has a few thick locks, a few thin locks, so that makes me think that he freeformed them. But yeah, this is so out of the ordinary that it looks so good. And again, the beard and the locks. There's a trend, there's a trend here. So for the people with gray locks, how long have you had them for and how long are your locks? I really want to know in the comments below. I'll see you in the next episode, peace.